Yo, what is good? It's your boy Signature. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be mixing a female vocal, uh, specifically a female house vocal, uh, using a mix of uh, third party plugins and FL Studio stock plugins. But I'm going to keep it very minimal with the third party plugins. Uh, for the third party plugins, I think I'm going to only use maybe two, like Auto Tune and a Meta Flanger. And then for the rest, I'm going to focus strictly on FL Studio. And yeah, let me just preview the song for you and then we get to it without wasting time. Beautiful vocal. Uh, shout out to a friend of mine who came in and recorded the vocal. She's not necessarily an artist, but she came and held it down for the boy. So shout out to her for that. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you can hear that the vocal sits well with the song, but there are a lot of improvements that can be done to it as far as vocal presence, taking out a lot of the resonant frequency, especially in the low mids. I can hear a, like a disturbing boomy tone to it. Uh, around uh, three to 500 hertz, I can hear lots of that boominess. And also in the upper mids, close to the present uh, present frequency, around 3K somewhere there, I hear a high resonant frequency that I want to take out. And as you can see, looking at the waveform, there are loud and quiet parts. So we're going to need the compressor to sort of squash the loud parts and widen and open like expand the quiet parts so we have a very uni uniform vocal that sounds very linear and uh we're gonna need like reverb delay just to give it that 3d depth and space so yeah less talking let's get to it first off i'm gonna start with an eq and for that i'm gonna load up the fruity parametric eq2 so here I'm going to do a high pass filter or a low cut for some people. And then with a male vocal, I usually stick around 90 to 100 hertz. But because this is a female vocal, I'm going to easily go around 200 to 150, around that range. So let, I'm just going to sweep around as the song plays. Then I'm also going to notch uh create a narrow like sort of create a narrow band and start sweeping for problematic frequencies then i'll take you through all those frequencies at the end of that process so let me press play So I took out the boominess that I was hearing. It was both at 306 hertz and 370 hertz. I did a high pass filter or a low cut at 153 hertz. I did another uh, cut with sort of a narrow bell at the mids 140 hertz. Then I did one narrow cut at uh, the high mids close to the presence area which is uh, at 3.7 kilohertz and then i did 
a high shelf where I boosted around a dB at 7.4 kilohertz. That's it for the EQ. I'm very happy. For the next plugin, I'm going to load a fruity compressor just to sort of compress everything as I've mentioned earlier. So let me load up fruity compressor. So this is fruity compressor and by no means is it a visual compressor. It requires you to really, 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 really use your ears and just listen and pay attention to the little, like little details. So let me press play and just mess with all the knobs and then we're going to talk at the end of that. Okay, so I forgot to do a gain match with the EQ, so I went in and added uh, 1.5 dB overall. And then with the compressor, here are the settings. I did a minus 43 dB threshold, a 2.9 ratio, 63, well, 64 milliseconds attack with a 127 millisecond release. And for the compression type, I chose soft. And then I gain, gain matched it with 5 dB. I'm happy with that. And then, in fact, let me do a quick A and B. Here it is. So the vocal is sounding more present, like I just took a blanket off it. It sounds more smoother, more present. It has that perceived loudness in a sense because it's just sitting perfectly in pocket. I'm happy with that. Then for the next plugin, I'm going to add auto-tune. So the key of the beat is B major. For the input type, I'm going to choose low mail because for this input type, which is low mail, there's less processing done on it. It's very gently on the vocal as far as the robotic auto-tune effect. And then for the routine speed, I'm going to leave it at 20. For the humanize, I'm going to do 60. Let's listen to that. So the fact that I can hear it makes me want to pull back. On it because I want it very subtle. Let's do 40. There we go. Here I can barely hear it. Let's leave it like that. Then for the next plugin, Meta Flanger, I'm going to load that up. This is Meta Flanger, and for it, I'm going to turn down the mix knob all the way to 9 maybe eight percent leave it at that yeah i think i'm good with it then the next plugin i'm gonna open up it's uh fruity delay then with fruity delay i just wanna turn down the input volume turn up the feedback volume pull down the cut off frequency all the way to 90 let's listen to it around here very beautiful i'm happy with it the next one the next plugin is going to be fruity reverb let me load that up fruity reverb 2 so with fruity reverb 2 i'm gonna do a low cut of around uh, one kilohertz or maybe just leave it here at 985 hertz do a five 0.5 or maybe a 5.3 kilohertz high cut then for the delay i'm gonna do a 60 62 64 somewhere there 62 milliseconds delay for the size of the reverb or size of the room i'm gonna go all the way up for the bass multiplier i'll turn that off for the decay i'm gonna do 
a 2.5 second delay and then for the wetness i'm gonna pull it all the way to 70 percent and for the separation i'm gonna pull it all the way stereo so let's hear that beautiful and then the last plugin here it's gonna be a fruit limiter too just to sort of tame or cut off those major picks just to further make the 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 the, the vocal just more linear and more uniform and just more smoother so let's do that quickly turning down the input ceiling to minus 1.5 db going to the compressor section turn off the show output peaks and the show input peaks and then I'm gonna mess with the threshold until I get some res response or like the vocals showing here. And then I'm gonna follow up with the ratio and the release. So let's mess, let's do that. So let me quickly do an A and B off without all of the processing and with all of the processing. So I'm going to start with them turned off. something i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching up till this part you a good one i appreciate you don't forget to like the video it's your boy signature i'll catch you on the next tutorial peace <laughs>